Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to continue with the same topic that we had started with the previous video that is different types of joints in DBMS. In previous video, we have covered equi and natural joint and the topic of this video is theta joint or non equi joint. So let's start. So first of all, a revision for the Cartesian product because Cartesian product is base of every joint. So we will be getting every joint result out of the Cartesian product and Cartesian product is a combination of first table rows from the second table rows and the join uh, means for the join operation we need to apply join condition over the Cartesian product result and we get the join result. So let's start with different types of join that we have already covered natural join and equi join in detail in the previous video. If you have not gone through these two topics, then the link is given in the description box. And the today's target is theta join, where we are not having equal to condition means we are not comparing or joining the tables on the basis of equality condition, but we can have other type of conditions for the joining. And we will be covering self join and outer join in later videos. So let's start. So this is the output. These, these are our input tables that we have uh, uh, con considering the same tables as the previous two videos. So student where we have roll number as a primary key in the student table and roll number as a foreign key in the library table. Okay. And you must be aware of the rules and uh, the uh, we can say that significance of using the referential integrity constraint or primary key and foreign key relationship. If not, then you can watch the previous videos. So here the Cartesian product will give the combination of all the rows from both the tables. And now we need to apply the join condition over this Cartesian product result to extract the join results. So let's start here just for the revision equi join will be applied with the equal to condition means we are comparing two tables on the basis of uh, attributes having identical values as we can see row number is having identical value for these two tables so this is the equi join on the basis of row number field in both tables and this is the output right and we will be using two keywords first is join and on or we can also write inner join or join okay inner uh, word inner is optional for this so you can skip the word inner but join and on are compulsory to apply the equal equi, um, equi join uh, for the two tables for joining two tables and this will be the result where the row numbers are same and as you can compare this result is extracted from the Cartesian product only means where the row numbers are equal only those rows are selected as a result of equi join okay we have covered this in detail now what is the difference between natural join so if we have the same column names in the table then equi join and natural join are giving the same result the only difference is this the equi equi condition uh, column means attribute for which you are applying e equality condition will be appeared from the first table only not from both the tables okay so rest result is same so here is a query for the natural join here I am getting only the row number field from the first table okay rest the both the tuples are same the result is extracted from the Cartesian product result only and here is the query for the natural join select start from student natural join library you need not to define the uh, column for the equality means we are applying over the roll number it will automatically take the field with the same name and having identical values for the equality condition you just need to write natural join okay so natural join understood will take the same column name but if you are not having the column uh, similar column name in the table then you must use the equi join suppose I am having here the field name as rn and here I am using roll number then I need to write s dot rn equals to r dot roll number okay but 
द नेचुरल ज्वाइन इन दिस केस विल सिंपली रिजल्ट द कार्टीजियन प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दीज टू टेबल्स एज द नेचुरल ज्वाइन इज नॉट गोइंग टू फाइंड द कॉलम नेम विद कॉलम्स विद द सिमिलर नेम सो इट विल नॉट परफॉर्म एनी इक्वालिटी चेक इट विल सिंपली गिव द कार्टीजियन प्रोडक्ट एज रिजल्ट ऑफ नेचुरल ज्वाइन ओके सो द नाउ द फोकस इज द थीटा ज्वाइन और नॉन इक्वी ज्वाइन हेयर वी कैन वी कैन हैव एनी अदर ऑपरेटर फॉर द ज्वाइनिंग ऑफ टू टेबल्स अदर देन इक्वल टू मीन्स वी आर नॉट यूजिंग इक्वल टू इंस्टेड वी कैन यूज एनी अदर ऑपरेटर लाइक ग्रेटर देन लेस देन नॉट इक्वल टू ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू लेस देन इक्वल टू एक्सेट्रा सो मीन्स एनी अदर कंडीशन देन इक्वालिटी विल रिजल्ट इन टू इक्वी ज्वाइन और सॉरी नॉन इक्वी ज्वाइन और वी कैन ऑल्सो कॉल इट theta join so we are also keeping the same tables as input for the theta join or non equi join operation here the query is similar as equi join but we need to write a operator other than equi equal to for the theta join or non equi join operation right so let's take an example suppose uh, we want to select the Select all the columns. You can specify the column names here as well. Means projection operation can be there for the columns, selected columns. But uh, just for the ease, I am keeping the star uh, in the query. But you can write the names of the column as we have done in the uh, previous videos. So here the student is aligned to S. Inner join. Inner is optional as we have already discussed this. The join keyword and the joining is with the library table on. Means now. after on you need to define the condition of joining and this time i am not going to use equal to because it's non equi join so i am writing where row numbers in the student table where row numbers in the student table are less than row number in the library table okay and you need to compare why i am uh, i have uh, put this result over here a result of cartesian product because every join result is extracted from this result only so you need to understand the output required output only then you can form the logic otherwise you can copy paste the code from anywhere but you will not be able to customize that code for yourself okay so we need to understand the output so here the s dot roll number must be less than the library dot roll number and in the result you can analyze the first row is satisfying this condition okay so firstly the cartesian product will be calculated and over that cartesian product we are applying this condition mean join on this condition where row number is less than library row number means row number from the library table so first row is satisfying the condition similarly we can see that the fourth row is satisfying the condition where 11 is less than 33 and again fifth row is satisfying the condition where 22 is less than 33 so we are going to get these three rows as a result of this non equi join query so result will be this okay so let's try with the command prompt and compare the result whether we are uh, uh, what we are analyzing and what should what uh, what is the actual output so we must compare the result means we know we must know the result before getting the output that we, what we are going to get out of a code or out of a query you must know uh, means you must have a clear idea of the output so let's try so this is our input uh, these are our input tables and this is our prompt where we are going to write the query so we need to write the same query i am writing the uh, select star from student s so inner word is optional you can omit this but uh, so uh, for the first query let's write it down now inner join library allies l on on s dot row number is what we need to write less than or greater than we need to write less than right where row number is less than l dot row number okay so query is complete select star from student s 
यू कैन ऑमिट दिस वर्ड इनर ज्वाइन लाइब्रेरी सेकेंड टेबल नेम अलाइज एल वेयर एज डॉट रोल नंबर मीन्स रोल नंबर फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट टेबल इज लेस देन रोल नंबर फ्रॉम द सेकेंड टेबल ओके सो हेयर इज द रिजल्ट ओके वी आर गेटिंग ऑल दो थ्री कॉलम दैट वी एनालाइज शुड कम फॉर द रिजल्ट सो दिस इज इलेवन इलेवन ट्वेंटी टू एंड हेयर वी हैव ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी थ्री थर्टी थ्री सो लेट्स कंपेयर द रिजल्ट इलेवन इलेवन ट्वेंटी टू एंड ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी थ्री थर्टी थ्री सो द रिजल्ट इज सेम मीन्स वी आर ऑन द राइट ट्रैक वी कैन एनालाइज द आउटपुट वाई राइटिंग द क्वेरी मीन्स वी मस्ट नो इन प्रायर वट वट इज द आउटपुट गोइंग टू बी सो लेट्स डिस्कस अनदर केस if we want to extract the uh, non equi join result with the condition that s dot roll number means the roll number in this live student table are uh, greater than roll number in the library table okay so let's analyze the result here we have 11 22 not satisfying 22 22 not satisfying the third row is satisfying our condition where 33 is greater than 22 and the fourth row is not satisfying 22 33 no so only one row is satisfying our condition and we will get this as the output of our non equi join in this case if we are applying the greater than sign so let's try this we are going to run the same query but this time the operator is changed from less than to greater than where s dot roll number is greater than l dot roll number okay and the result is as per our uh, analysis we are getting 33 roll number with name mia uh, from it branch is greater than roll number 22 with the book issued as dbms so this is the example of non equi join and instead of select you can also uh, perform the projection operation uh, as we have done in earlier queries as well like if i want to display only roll number name branch okay and book name as well so you can perform the selection like this sorry this is the projection if you are uh, writing the column names this is your projection operation means we are projecting these specific columns join where less than this so here we are not getting all the columns means roll number column as we have written only one time so we are getting the uh, the result as per our projection operation applied so this is uh, the example where we are using the non equi join along with the projection and selection so now we can also use any other operations like if we want to extract the roll numbers with the Uh, operator less than equal to so we can also perform it like this or greater than equal to or not equal to okay so you can also change it to not equal to operator so any other operator other than equal to will be the non equi join okay so you can analyze the result uh, as per the Cart uh, cartesian product result So that's it for this video in next video we will be covering the self join and the outer join till then bye and take care